in the quirk vestige realm. Hello, Izuku. Huh? Izuku struggled to turn around, but eventually saw a woman floating a few feet away. Struggling to speak. Who who? Are. You? You can just call me Kiki. Looks around. Where? Are. We? My section of the vestige realm. Questioning face that wants to know what she means. We are in the meta ability you call one for all. Does not. Look. The same. Ah uh, yes, about that. You see unlike the other vestiges, I never used one for all. I was simply a courier of sorts. As such I seem to have a different realm within this meta ability that is both separate and not from the others. Courier? What? Do you? Mean? Simply put, I held on to one for all for two years between transferences. Due to a slight oversight, I was given the mission to hide and make all for one believe that he had accidentally killed the meta ability he sought. After two years I found a new user and gave it to them. Unbeknownst to both of us I had become a part of the meta ability, with my own ability having been stored as a vestige as well. I think I understand. Nods. I'm glad you do. Why am I here? You were attacked. Your last memories before passing out are hazy, and the scent of chloroform make it rather obvious that you have been abducted. Getting concerned. What do I do? For now just remain calm. You likely won't wake up for some time. But that does give us a chance to talk. What do we need? To talk about? My meta ability, which you have recently gained the use of. Eyes go wide. The massages. Yes. You see my ability, much like all the others that got added to one for all over the years, has gotten stronger with each person who helped it grow. Mine was a very simple healing ability. By massaging areas of the body where muscles had been torn or injured, it would slowly heal the muscles. But it's doing more than that now. Correct, because it has been growing all this time, its side effects have also grown in strength. Turning it from a mundane healing ability to an addictive hyper-effective healing ability. Where does the addiction come from? Back when I used my ability it would cause others to feel a small sense of relief, desire, and euphoria, that was very unique to the ability itself. This was due to a small release of dopamine, and other chemicals within the body. Eyes widen. The release of dopamine is much stronger now. That's why it's addictive. Nods. The more you use it on someone, the more likely they will fall prey to the after effects, and the more you become their drug of choice. How do I control it? It's always active, but only affects others you are intentionally massaging. I would also take care, because people with more severe wounds are likely to feel more tired after treatment. That sounds kinda like recovery girl side effect. Shrugs. Who knows, maybe she is a descendant of mine. Izuku started to feel a flicker of something. What? It appears as if you are waking up sooner than expected. I guess this is goodbye for now. Yes. We will be seeing each other sooner or later. Oh and one other thing. Whatever you don't. Suddenly Izuku snapped awake, similar to how you might if you just had a bad dream. Finds himself gagged and tied. Hmm. Looks at Izuku from behind a table. Oh you're finally awake. Struggling to move anything but his fingers and neck. MMM. You can relax? No you can't. Looks at twice confused. Look I captured you for two reasons. One. I want to give Toga a good birthday gift. And two. You just happened to be around and not paying attention, so it was easy. No it wasn't. Wondering why twice just contradicted himself. Basically, you're just gonna sit there like a good boy and let Toga have her fun. Then we will hand whatever is left of you over to Shigaraki. No we won't. Starts realizing something. You want me to take the gag off? 
nodding surprise that twice understood him. Twice striking the thinker pose. Nah. Who knows what you could do. I do. Not quite sure what to say to that face. Mmm. -hmm. If Toga wants to talk to you she can figure out something herself. Now give me a moment. No don't do that. Surprised that things are going smoother than he thought. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm preparing the room. I know Toga loves blood so I need to have this place perfect for a bloody night. No I don't. Realizes he's not gonna survive this. Mm -hmm. You might die, but at least you'll die with a girl holding you. No you won't. How the heck is he understanding me so perfectly? Wondering Deku face. Mm -hmm -hmm. Why do you need a badger? Why wouldn't he? Face that should should have expected that. Never mind. Izuku looked around, and saw a window which clearly showed a forest outside. Hmm, looks like some kind of house outside of city limits. I'm definitely not going to be able to escape easily. Twice prepared the room they were in. Surrounding the whole thing in plastic carefully. Face that's weirdly interested in watching what's happening. While this is fascinating to watch, I need to think of some way out of this. Randomly singing while taping plastic to the ceiling. I'm severely tied up to the point I can't move practically at all. The only thing I have access to is my fingers and neck. Overcharging one for all into my fingers won't help me. And Black Whip is out because I need more mobility to utilize it properly. Um. Gah. You startled me. What do you need? Um um. Bathroom. Damn I hadn't thought of that. Yes. Thinking for a moment. Okay then I'll just. Knock knock. Twice. Why did you make me come all the way out here to get my present? Oh you're here. Great. Perfect timing really. As Kachan would say. Fuck. Goes over to the door. Toga I hope you enjoy this. Happy birthday. Twice opened the door, and Izuku saw Toga dressed in mundane clothes. Blinking in surprise. What? Surprise. I caught Midoriya and now he's yours to do with as you please. Slowly getting an excited smile. E. Runs over and hugs twice. Oh thank you so much twice. A it was nothing. Kisses twice as cheek. You're amazing. This is the best birthday ever. Wow, she almost looks normal. Heck they almost seem like a brother and sister. Gives her a pat on the head. I'm glad. Now I'll leave you two alone. Just make sure not to untie him. You don't want to lose him do you? Yes you do. Breaks the hug. Don't worry I won't twice. I'm dead. Super dead. Walks out of the room. Have fun. Smiles at her crush. Hello Izuku. Gulps. Mm. Closes the door, then walks over it and starts straddling him. We're gonna have so much fun. Suddenly feels her hand on his. What the heck is she doing? Gets right up in his face. But first things first. I'm gonna make sure you can't live without me. Horrified Izuku face that doesn't like the sound of that. Nope nope nope. Izuku unconsciously squeezed his hands, making him close them on Toga's. Oh how forward. Evil smile. Wait. That's it. Izuku took a breath, and began to focus on massaging Toga's hands with what little movement he had. Hmm. Ah that feels. Nice. Focus on the massage. Focus on the quirk. This is my only chance to survive. Oh damn. Starts looking into Izuku's eyes differently. I didn't know you were this good with your hands. Focusing on what he's doing. Come on. Come on. Please work. Tries to pull her hands away. I think. Closes his hands in hers and uses one for all to keep her from escaping his grip. Hmm. 
surprised. What the heck? Hey, let go. Tries using the massage quirk on her again with only one finger. I won't let it end like this. Ah.、Uh, wait, what's ah?、Uh? I will survive no matter what I have to do. Izuku pushed his strange assault on Toga. Panting. Stop. Please. Shakes his head while looking her in the eye. Start shaking. Please, ooh. Minutes went by as Izuku never let up. This is surprisingly tiring, but I can't let up. I have to keep focused. Is practically unconscious and drooling. I can't. Ah. Please stop. After another couple seconds, something strange happened. Slumps forward and lays her head on Izuku's shoulder while panting. Did I overdo it? Bites the gag off Izuku. Surprised, huh? Starts kissing him. Shocked and confused that he's being kissed. What? As Toga pulled away, the look in her eyes was one that was even crazier than it had ever been before. I might have just made a huge mistake. Please let me go. I promise you'll enjoy what comes next. Ah,、uh, no. Leans in and whispers into his ear. Are you sure? Gets chills. Yep. I'm not letting you go. Pulls back a little and kisses Izuku again. How is this suddenly more terrifying? Pulls back from the kiss. That's a promise, Izuku. Blows him a little kiss. I'm about to have the best birthday of my life. Eep. Very nervous Izuku face. Close to an hour later, and Toga was a drooling mess that was only still sitting on Izuku because he was keeping her from falling. Let me go. Heavy panting. Can't move. Come on, Toga. Any more of this, and you might just pass out. Weakly lifts her head up while still panting. Maybe I prefer it that way. Knock knock. Yo, Toby, you finished in there yet? Has a weak and silly tone. Almost. Twy. Shuts him up by kissing him. All right, just try not to break the plastic. We don't want the owners of this house to notice someone probably died here. Yes, we do. Breaks the kiss only to speak. Okay. Hell. Kisses again. There was the sound of footsteps fading as Twice walked away. Breaks the kiss. Will you stop that? No. Has a crazier smile than usual. Now let's continue this. The next day at the UA dorms. I'm sorry, everyone. We've been looking all over for him. Nervous and worried, Yura Raka. I hope Deku Kun is okay. It's kind of my fault for letting him go alone. I'm sorry. Downcast face that blames herself. No, Mina. We all thought he would be fine without any of us. Mido bros tough. He can handle whatever is going on. I hope. Agitated, Burnin. I've been looking nonstop and still couldn't find the lead. Yeah, you've been really desperate to find the kid. That might be due to the massages more than anything. Hey. Grabs her head in pain. Ow. You had regular doses of those massages for quite some time. It's likely you're actually starting to get withdrawals without them. You make it sound like I'm an addict or something. Face of someone that doesn't like that connotation. Well, yeah. I mean, Mina told us the sensation she felt from that hand massage felt addictive. So routinely getting one, as the feeling probably got stronger. Is more likely to make you become addicted. Grumbling. Places a hand on Burnin's shoulder. We'll help you once we find the kid. I'm gonna. Just then, the door to the dorm opened. Mimi Doria. Nervous smile that sees he's been spotted. Hey everyone. Instantly, several people all fly over to Deku. Yip. Mido bro. Are you okay? What happened to you? Please tell me you weren't being chased by a mob of women. Hey, little man, want to go practice? Sweet smile that's hiding an ulterior motive. Smacks Burnin in the head. 
Quit it, flame hair. You okay, kid? Nervously backs into the wall. Yeah, just fine. But um. What seems to be the problem, Midoriya? I'm kinda. Not alone. Huh? A, that's not important. Now let's. Suddenly Bernan had a knife on her throat. Choose your next words carefully. Has a sweet dangerous smile. Jumps into a fighting stance. Toga. Everyone else jumped into fighting stances as well, except for Bernan and Midoriya. Feels the knife at her throat. Let's. Practice. Fighting? Still smiling. Hmm. I don't know. May I should. Stern voice. Toga. Looks at Izuku. Yes? Put the knife down. But. Gives her the look. Annoyed. Ugh, fine. Toga pulled the knife back and walked over to Deku. Smiles at Deku. There. Did I do good? Despite the fact you threatened my friend, yes. Looking back and forth. Um. Unconsciously has her hand protecting her throat. How is crazy here? I twitch. I have a bad feeling. Wraps her arms around one of Deku's. I'm changing sides. Minus Deku. What? Why? Nervously scratching the back of his head. That's a... My fault. Tugs Deku's arm gently. I've got a headache. Sighs. Okay. Deku proceeded to rub Toga's hand a little. Relieved smile. Much better. Ah, how is this girl even allowed to just switch sides like that? Long story short. She's literally addicted to me to a dangerous degree, again my fault, and she cut a deal with police in order to stay by my side and not die. Very concerned silence. Bro. What the fuck kid? Face that realizes she could have ended up in that situation. Damn. Oh come on I was trying not to get killed. And, I didn't know it was going to turn out like this. Da does Nezu know? Hops out of Midoriya's hood. Yep. Startled. When the heck did you get there? He's been in your hood for the last hour or so. Wondering how he didn't notice at all. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you knew because your hood should have been heavier. I didn't even feel the weight change at all. Yes the patented Nezu stealth technique, Aizawa deplores it. <laughs> Nezu. Why are you letting Toga into UA? Yes, isn't her presence a liability? Surprisingly no. When she sold out the rest of the LOV, I ran some tests on her. She literally can't survive without Midoriya, so in order to live she has no choice but to join us. In other words, Midoriya literally holds her life in his hands now. Doesn't mean she won't inform her ex-buddies about us. If I do that then I don't get massages. And I'll end up dying painfully. Smile that sees minimal problems with that statement. Oh god. Those massages are more horrifying than I thought. Scared and nervous Mina. They're wonderful. Drooling at the memory. Midobro don't take this the wrong way, but please never touch Mina again. I never intended to. Also I have some control of the massage effects now, so it's not gonna happen to anyone else. Other than me. Forever. Happy smile. Yes yes. Now on to my favorite part about all this. Oh dear god please help us. Nervous sweating. I'm afraid they're on my side for this one. <laughs> Shivers. That laugh still gives me chills. Toga here is now going to have to move in, and take part in classes with the rest of 1A. Varying degrees of shock. Horrified Uraraka. What? Ah. I love chaos. This school is run by a psychopath. Face that wonders how Nezu even got this job. Yeah I'm really starting to realize that. I like it. You're crazy, so your opinion is invalid. Doesn't that make your opinion invalid to flame hair? 
laughing with tears of joy. Damn. That was savage. Anyways, welcome your newest classmate Himiko Toga. Mina? Yes, Kiri? How doomed are we? Scale of 1 to 10? Sure. Then the answer is Nezu. Oh, that's bad. Wondering how he broke the scale. Interesting. Oh, and Midoriya, you are now allowed to give those massages on campus again, but only to Toga. Bye. Nezu walks away. I like him. He seems fun. Sighs deeply. Why did I ever think learning to give massages was a good idea? The end.